Philip and the eunuch. And Philip baptized the eunuch. Have you been baptized since you believed? Belief is essential for your salvation. But you have to act on your belief. We have to have a preacher that can proclaim the word of God to help us understand the word of God, to help us believe in the word of God. And then we must act on that belief. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. As I stated, we have two places we will spend eternity. Either life, eternal life, or eternal damnation. This is our preparation place. We must prepare today. Harden not your heart. Today is the day, is, uh, day, is the day for our salvation. God came into this world. Jesus was humiliated, scourged and beat, mocked, spat upon, talked about, did all that for each and every one of us. So we must act on our belief. God stands ready to save us. Over 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross, shared his blood for each and every one of us. And he told his disciples to go and preach the gospel. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. His death, burial, and resurrection. And in order for us to enter into God's kingdom, we must do as God has said. We must be born again. We must be born again, born into God's kingdom. God stands ready. God is going away to prepare a place for us, for his children. But we must prepare to go to that place. We, we can't crash heaven. We might can crash a party down here. But we will not crash heaven. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. And God has given us an opportunity to act on our belief, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not the titles Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But we must do it in Jesus' name. And Peter, on the day of Pentecost, told the Jews there, said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That still stands true today. God requires for us to repent, to turn away from our sins, be sorry for the sins that we have committed against him, against ourselves, against mankind. Turn to God and be baptized in his name. There is no other name we can be saved. It is only through Jesus Christ. We have clothes here for men and women, boys and girls. God stands ready. God stands ready. Stands ready.
For God so loved you. God so loved you. He sent his only son. God stands ready. chance. The Lord convicts you. We stand ready 24 hours, seven days a week, ready to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. We present you Pastor Smith at this time. not about joining a church. This is not joining an organization. But it's coming to be saved. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But his word shall not pass away. We are not about a cult. We're not here to make people live righteous. But the love of Christ, when he died on the cross for your sins and my sins, and he loved me enough to keep me alive long enough to hear his word say to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus. I'm so thankful at the age of 10, I understood what it meant for Christ dying on my cross. On the cross. You hear many things in the world today, preachers all over the world saying all kinds of things. But God's word is true. And I want to read just something that, that just struck my attention. It says in the fifth chapter of Romans when it said, But God committed his love toward us that while we were out there running around doing our thing, big and bad enough to do, and we, many times we knew it was wrong. God loved us. I don't hear nobody saying that. See, that's the key. That's the key today. You got to understand that God let you live when maybe he should have taken you out. But he, he saved you long enough to hear this gospel message today, which says to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardoning, the remission. I mean, wash, it's not washing the water off. You took a bath this morning. Yeah. Amen. You washed the skin. I'm talking about that conscience. Yeah. That conscience, God cleanses that conscience. 
Amen. I think God just want to help somebody to understand today that when all else fails, you want to know God for yourself, and you want God to also know you. We stand ready for you to be saved. If you desire today, we stand ready for you to come if that's your desire in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Bible says, heaven rejoice when one turns and comes to be saved. Let's give God the praise this morning. We all happy for you. But of, to make sure in the presence, do you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins? Amen. Do you believe that in order for you to be saved, you must repent of your sins and be yes. baptized yes. in water in the name of Jesus Christ yes, Lord. for remission of sins? And the Bible says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. And that you come today. Thank you, God, for your power of your word. And as our dear sister goes down in water, we ask that you, Lord, cleanse her. Cleanse her. Make her a voice for you to show the world that you can live holy, even in a rich, a rugged and wretched world. There's somebody that want to live right. We thank you right now in Jesus' name for her. And we ask that your Lord that you fill her with the spirit of the Holy Spirit so that she can be that example to the world. That other young women don't have to give themselves to the world, but can give themselves to God in Jesus' name. And let the body of believers say amen. Amen. The sister will get you ready. We thank God for uh, our sister coming this morning. She spoke with me, yes, last week. And let me just say something. You know, we want people to understand what they're about to do. And uh, we, I think we have her family here today. And they have discussed it. And they are here today to witness what she's about to do. Trust me, God will save you when he get ready. Yes. Amen. Oh, we can't be anxious. God has a way. Come on, somebody. And we're so happy. And you all are from Lancaster, Lancaster County, or the city of Lancaster. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. That's up there near Charlotte there. Amen. And you all drove all the way in this rain. Amen. To come here to see this. And we pray God's blessings upon you. As they prepare, we ask that you prepare your hearts as we go and prepare to baptize her in Jesus' name. And we ask that you please give us some music. Quiet. And let's consecrate ourselves at this time. Amen. Uh, thing I want to do. If anybody desires to be anointed, you may come as we have some soft music. Amen. If you desire, just come. In Jesus' name.
Just so thankful. Pardon me if I don't read any announcements. It's just the spirit of that we need to leave in today. Amen. Repentance has taken place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we want to leave praying that God now will fill her with the Holy Spirit. Because that is what's going to help her to grow. In Christ Jesus. Again, thank you all, family, for your sacrifice to come. It is, it is very impressive. 
We pray God's blessings on each of you. And what you've asked God today as you came by, God will do. He says if you could have the faith the size of a mustard seed. Now, now, down here is country, but I know there's a little country up there in uh, <laughs> Lancaster. But a mustard seed is a small seed, and you plant it. You don't think nothing's going to grow. But give it time, it just make a nice head of mustards. You can put your ham hock in there, and yeah. So that's the kind of faith that you got to have, the size of them. God is not asking you to jump out there and stand in front of a car. He's not asking you to jump over, off the top of the church to prove your faith. He just says, simple, trusting, mustard seed faith. And pray, I pray for your journey back. We'll get a chance to talk with you when we dismiss. Everyone stand at this time. In Jesus' name, we have a short version of the Lord bless and keep you. Give us time so that we can visit with our guests. And would you please come by and visit with them before you leave? Amen. Amen. Thank God for Sister Maggie Funches being with us this morning. Go, so good to see you here in Jesus' name. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord bless you. Be great.